Live, deep in the heart of West Texas, it's the James Hendrix Show. Hey guys, I know I'm pre-recording this, but anyway, it's Taylor's Face Friday! Hey guys, we're going to take a break from the news. We all know about how Biden says that uh, we may respond in kind about about Russia. We hear a lot about Russia. We hear a lot about some of the muckety-muck that's going on in Congress. How about this? How about this, guys? Say yes to God. Say yes to God. He's calling on you. Now, now, some of you, Jimmy, Jimmy, this must be a political show. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. I get tired of the reactionary establishment on both sides of the aisle. And I think as the show host, it is my prerogative on certain days (laughs) to stop talking about the news. To stop this reactive bull. Okay? Because I think some people are sick and tired of hearing about it. Why don't we say yes to God? Why aren't we reading our Bibles every day? Listening to faith-filled, faith-filled uh, talks. Growing strength from Him. Every morning, every morning I try to be up by 4 a.m. By 5.30 or 6 o'clock, I have my King James Bible ready and, and studying. That is my time of of private reading and private prayer of of confession. Getting real close to God. Another thing I do is exercise because God calls us to take care of our bodies. You see, God is a part of the American dream. God is a part of capitalism. I'm not saying that God prefers one economic system over another. But the American dream was built upon Christian principles and capitalism. Whether people want to hear it or not. You know, I get tired of hearing these uh, liberal socialists on both of the sides of the aisle complaining about this country. Here's what I do. I'd have them talk to some immigrant who just come. And they've been slaving away with a wage starting at $5 an hour. And then, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Because it's coming! I would be a big, huge jet for them, them socialists. I'd say, okay, your baggage is packed. If you don't like this country that, that God's found, name a country. Because, you, because, uh, if you want to listen to what this immigrant has had to say about how he loves this country, you get a one-way ticket to the, the country destination of your choice. Be it Canada, Sweden, you know, whatever socialist country. Because this is not meant to be a socialist democracy, okay? Our founders were Christian. They wanted us to be a republic. They wanted us to be a republic. Now, I'm going to say my piece about something, and I know it's going to make some people angry. Oh, sometimes I just love it when I make people angry. June 25th, 1962. Thanks to Engel versus Battalion, some idiotic Supreme Court justices decided... That right after the school bell, there could be no prayer in school. 1963. Abington, Abington Township versus Shimp. Eight of the nine Supreme Court justices idiotically said after the school bell 
No more Bible reading. Guess what happened? Plain truth. Violent crime began to rise. The grades went down. Kids? They just got high. Now, I'm not going to start preaching on social agendas, okay? I'm not a preacher. But because of that, kids from the 1960s on began learning in schools that there was no absolute. 1973. The Supreme Court Idiotically, idiotically ruled that an unborn baby is not a person. And the rationale for this, okay, the rationale, I, I looked at the case, okay, I looked at the case that some of the rationale was like political in nature. I thought they spelled on what I learned in my international law class that the Supreme Court didn't hear political questions. They looked at racism and poverty as grounds for abortion. How idiotic can you be? Now listen, listen, you, you're probably going to think, well, Jimmy, what makes you stand so strongly on abortion? Okay, I'll tell you. There was a time, from the time I was 14 to the time I was 22, I idiotically was pro-choice. And then I had a friend of mine, we'll call her Lynette, she sat me down and said, do you realize how evil is coming out of your mouth when you're saying the woman should have an abortion? That's killing a baby, Jimmy. That's killing all God's children. And that really convicted me to pass by, I didn't think nothing about it. About it. Until my grandmother and I had a conversation. Now, I'm not going to go into what the conversation was about, okay? That's too drama-filled and reactive. But she changed my mind. I was pro-choice, but still, plain truth. I idiotically voted for Bill Clinton in election 1992. And then, I heard about the... New Mexico City policy, gays in the military, you know, tax increases. My eyes are open. And I'm asking for you guys to open your eyes and say yes to God. Because that's where it starts. I'm not saying that God supports the conservative federalist ideology. I'm saying that conservative federalists who founded this country accepted the wisdom ideology which is in the scriptures. Okay? I want you to think about that. How about this one? 2003. The Supreme Court said a courthouse a display in front of the office of Judge Roy Moore, Moore could not display the Ten Commandments. And they also put to death an anti-sodomy law in the state of Texas. You see all the slippery slope we're on? That's why we need to say yes to God. We need, okay, the, the, I'll be honest with you, okay, the damage is done. But we need to say yes to God. We need to return to God. Now, if you're interested in a religious podcast on how we can say yes to God, I'm going to refer you to Praying for a Hurting World. It's on the James Henry Empowerment Network. It's on Spreaker, um, iHeartRadio. It's under YouTube under James Henry. You can just look at me. There's a picture of me in like a white shirt. And I think there's a tie, like a red tie. And um, you'll find me there, iHeartRadio, uh, Podcast Addict, 
uh, podcasts or just wherever you can find any podcasts, except Apple and Apple and, and uh, Amazon podcasts. Of course, the Amazon podcast. Something I'm going to change that. I just got to remember my Amazon account. <laughs> Listen, guys, we are losing our morals and ethics and values in politics and business. Now, the business thing I can handle. I wrote a book about it. The Winning Personality, a values-based approach to entrepreneurship in this economy. And yes, one of those values was faith in God. Who I'm going to make some people mad up in here, up in here. But I'm going to tell you something. Plain truth. I don't care. Because your soul depends on saying yes to God. Hear me, your soul depends on saying yes to God. Okay? Now, I hope you enjoyed listening to The James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and becoming a part of receiving those daily updates. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying, until next time, take care and be proactively informed. Say yes to God. He's calling you. Take care and God bless you. I might see you Saturday or Monday. <laughs>